What's up, Internet? Ang dami-dami kong sinasabi na computer tips, how to build, how to get the best value for your money. But there's one question, the most important question, na palagi niyong tinatanong na hindi ko pa sinasagot. And that is, mura na ba ang mga GPU? Also known as, is it time to buy? Bibili ka ng PC, tapos na hindi kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Akal ito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Pero alam naman tayo, data-driven. So before we look at the data, how did we first collect this data? Pumunta ako sa sites nung apat na pinakamalaking PC stores sa bansa. Pagkatapos nun, re-record ko yung prices ng CPUs and GPUs. Since mano-mano to, di ko kaya ilista lahat ng prices para sa lahat ng models. But I did try to get a cross-section or a representative sample, iba't ibang pricing points for different budgets. And lastly, ginawa ko to roughly over a period of three weeks, so may three data points tayo in terms of time. Roughly once a week, pumunta ako sa sites nila, and then re-record ko yung data. Pero ayaw ko bigyan nung free publicity yung ibang shops. Only one shop gets free publicity on this channel, and that's Hardware Sugar. Kaya itago natin yung mga shop na yan under a different name. And since I'm a nerd, yung mga alias na gagamitin natin galing sa science fiction. Shop 1 will be the leader of Rogue Squadron, Wedge Antilles from Star Wars. Shop 2 is Roy Foker from Skull Squadron of Robotech. Shop 3 is Joker of the Normandy from the Mass Effect series. And Shop 4 will be Wash, the captain of the Firefly from the series Firefly. Gusto ko talaga unbiased yung data, so hindi ko ginamit yung hardware sugar pricing or yung insider information na alam ko, yung mga dealer prices because of hardware sugar. So lahat ng prices na pag-usapan natin dito are publicly available. And because Hardware Sugar is just a small shop, may ibang deals talaga from the distributors na di kami maka-avail. Yung mga large stores talaga may resources to avail of special promos for discounts at a certain price or at a minimum order na medyo malaki, may discount ka. Di namin kaya yon the big stores can. So, mas representative talaga of the average retail price, yung mga prices ng big stores. Alright, let's get to the numbers. Seryoso na tayo guys, nag-glasses na ako. Itong Excel file na to, actually, in-upload ko siya to Google Sheets, yung link nandun sa text description below. Yung GPUs, may tatlong data points tayo, October 15, October 28, and November 3. Pero yung CPUs, to be honest, Late ko to na pag-isipan na dagdagan. So, we only have two data points for now. October 28 and November 4. Naisip ko kasi na marami magreklamo na ba't ko ginawa yung GPUs but walang data on CPUs. So, dinagdag ko on the second week. The first thing that the data shows us is that there's a lot of variance between stores. Hindi talaga uniform yung pricing nila. You'll get a very good deal with one store and then a significantly higher price in another store. So we'll break it down first on individual things that I've noticed and then pagkatapos nun yung trends. So yeah, first to second week na lang tayo for GPUs. October 15 to October 28. Yung naka blue means that the price went down and naka red means that the price went up. So from week 1 to week 2, may significant difference in price uh, 1650 and yung 3050 actually. Yung pinakamura ni Wedge, 20,700, naging 18,500 na lang nung week 2. Slight price increase in the 3060, big price increase in what's available for the 3080. Again, this is just one store. Dito kay Wedge, bumaba yung 1650. Pero dito naman kay Roy, tumaas konte. Here with Joker, only the 13, only the 3050 changed. It went up by a significant margin. 
Actually, itong first week, lahat ng GPU na pinag-uusapan ko dito, yung pinakamura na model na mahanap ko dun sa kanila. First week kay Joker, the 3050 was 7950. Yung pinakamura, the next week was an MSI 19500. Tapos yung Galax from last week, tumalon to 22400. So that's like almost a 4,000 roughly peso difference. Tapos, isa pang nakakainis dito kay Joker, second week, first week, wala silang 4090. Second week, naglista sila ng 4090 ASUS stuff. And I listed down the price here. Pero, may customer kami sa Hardware Sugar na naghanap ng 4090. Sabi ko, sold out kami. Pero, nahanap ko to based on my research. Tapos sabi niya, ay, hindi na. Natawagan ko na yung store na yan. Out of stock sila. Pero, nakalista pa rin sa site nila. As a customer, hindi ka ba naiinis na parang binabaliwala lang yung time mo? Parang hindi ka rin nirespeto nung shop eh. Your time is valuable when you're doing research. You would expect the prices online to be correct and accurate na may stock nga talaga sila. Sa amin sa Hardware Sugar, 100% up-to-date yan. Yung makita mo sa site, yun yung price namin, yun rin yung available namin. So this is a non data point. Hindi natin masabi na accurate tong figure na to since yun nga, out of stock sila. Yung kay Wash, actually maganda yung price drop. Week 1 to week 2, 1650, bumagsak to 10995. And even the ASUS 1650, which was the cheapest in week 1, became 12995. Ang laki nung price difference nito. And it carries over to week 3 actually, yung pinaka-recent na week. So their cheapest 3080 was a PNY. Dati mga 60,000 siya at week 1. Bumagsak siya to 44,000 nung week 2. And the most recent week, ganun pa rin siya. Laki ng price drop. This really stuck out to me when I looked at it for the first time. Dito tayo sa week 3, yung pinaka-latest. Steady lang yung 1650 kay Wedge. Slight increase sa 3050. Same lang na 3060. Although tumaas to from the previous week. Price improvement in the 3080 by around 4,000 bucks. So, that's significant. Walang 4090. Last week, may nakalista silang 4090. This week, wala. For Roy, slight improvement in the price of the 1650. 3050, the same. Increase also in the 3060. Joker, the only noticeable thing is that they increased the price slightly of the 1650. Ito si Joker, madalas na out of stock eh. Nakikita mo, currently, wala siyang 3080. Pinakamalapit 3070. Wala rin siyang 4090. And in the CPUs later down below, makikita mo din na palaging medyo out of stock si Joker. Eh. You know? Oh, sorry, it's Roy. Although Joker also significantly doesn't have a lot of stock. Wash still continues to do well price-wise. Price drop on the PNY 3060. And also on the reported price of the 4090. Pero yun nga, parang di kasigurado eh. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the same shop as the as Joker, the one from week two na sabi nila meron tapos wala naman pala. But yun nga, nagdududa ka sometimes. So we'll do the individual average prices collated from the four stores. Kung walang data available, let's say walang 3080 yung isang store, di divided by three na lang yung price imbis na divided by four and so on and so forth. You can see there's a significant price drop in the 1650. From week 1 to week 2, pero medyo tumaas ulit siya. <laughs> Although it's still slightly below its starting point nung week 1 natin. 3050 has gone down actually. There's a significant clear price drop in the average of around 500 pesos for the 3050 itong week 3. 3060 holding steady. Really not much difference over the past 3 weeks. 3080 has seen ito lang yung card na pababa nung pababa as the weeks go by. Week 1, 57,000. Week 2, 55,000. Tapos si week 3, 50,000 na lang siya. So significant weakening in the prices of a, Ford, of a 3080. Although I should take note na 
this doesn't really mean a lot kasi dalawa lang yung sample sizes. Dalawa lang yung data points rather. Ito si Roy, walang 3080. Ito si Joker, walang 3080. So yung napagkuhanan ko lang ng data, si Wash, which we already noted has a very cheap 4080. And si Wedge. Itong 4090, it's just one sample. Only Wash reported having a price or having stock. So this is negligible. I wouldn't ascribe any value to one data point. And moving on to CPUs, not much to compare because I only have two weeks worth of data. Although it's interesting to note that the 5600X dropped in two different shops. So, dito kay Wedge, <coughs> 11970 naging 11400, 11400 na lang in the current week. Even a higher price drop with wash yung una niyang price was still 500 itong most recent week mga 12,000 na lang so 500 peso difference also a big drop in the 5600G from wash 11,500 naging 10,000 na lang yung 5600G bumaba with two of our stores but with one of our stores tumaas actually siya ito si Roy individual CPU went up our 53600 from 10,000 to 11,000 significant price jump but not something we saw mirrored in the other stores steady lang naman yung prices nila not too many shops selling the 7950x we carry it at hardware sugar so hard to compare individual prices yun nga itong pinaka latest week isa lang yung sample natin 5600g yes significant price difference price drop actually The i5 12500 from last generation actually went up a little bit in the average, from fourteen thousand one hundred to fourteen thousand seven hundred eighty. So, mentioned malaking price increase. Overall, I'd say the CPU trend for AMD at least the mainstays of the previous generation 5600G, 5600X, mejo getting cheaper, which is good. Those are still very good CPUs. So yeah, so for conclusions, GPUs, if you're towards the lower end of the market, actually prices seem to have increased a little bit, at least based on the 1650. 3050, no problem. Basically the same price. If you're willing to spend a bit more, there are good deals to be found sa 3080. And the 3090 price is all over the place with people reporting things na, yes, meron, pero wala pala. So I... I find it hard to believe any of the prices reported now. For CPUs, the Ryzen series, the medium mid-range 5600X, 5600G, have dropped well in price. Those are very good performance. Those are very good performers for value now. So if you're thinking of getting a Ryzen system, might be good to pick one of those up. Again, I couldn't look at all of the models. But hopefully, like in 5600X, medyo kalapit na niya yung 5700X, for example. So, if this happened to the 5600X, baka nangyari din siya dun sa mga CPU na malapit sa kanya. So, extrapolating na lang based on the data points that we do have. So, this doesn't seem like much right now. It's just three weeks worth of data. But we're going to be continuing this. Magiging regular series siya. Para the more data points we have, the longer we can track things, mas makita talaga natin. Is it a good time to buy? Tumaas ba yung presyo? Bumagsak? Again, all of our data can be found online. The link is below sa Google Sheet. So I hope nakatulong to decide if you're thinking of pushing your chips in kumbaga and finally biting the bullet and buying a computer. If you are thinking of that, please do think of Hardware Sugar as well. Siya lang yung hindi yung censored na shop dito sa video na to. Regardless of where you buy it from, I hope you're happy with your purchase. Yun lang naman yun eh. Um, you try to do the best you can. You research on what you need. You research on what fits your budget. You research on what shop mapagkatiwalaan mo. Or hindi lang sa sales, but yung after sales. And of course, I would recommend Hardware Sugar. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. 
Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.